a proclivity, a tendency when we pray to say, Lord, if this is your will, then let everything go smoothly. So immediately we begin to place the will of God in anything that is circumstantially easy to master. Most of us believe that when I come to God, the essence of my being with God implies that I have power not to feel any difficulty whatsoever. And so quickly we judge that something is wrong when there's opposition or trial in the way. Well, how can God prove he is greater if there is no great opposition to come against? Oh, God. Oh, I feel it here. It's, uh, see, I, I simply feel the great. But I have to believe the greater. Because my connection to God is not through my senses, but through my faith. On the one hand, I have to praise him when I don't feel him. I have to hold on to him when I don't see him. I've got to believe him when I can't touch him. And I've got to defy the devil, look him in the face in light of what I'm going through and say no matter how great you are, greater is with me. Oh God, I feel it here. When my, my survival, the survival of my being then implies that greater is with me. The fact that I can discuss it, the fact that I can talk about what I'm going through, the fact that I can cry over it, the fact that I can hope against it, the fact that I believe through it tells me something greater must be with me because I'm not dead yet. I've been through hell and I'm not dead yet. I've been through trials and I'm not dead yet. Other people have capitulated. I've come out every time because greater is he that's in me than he that's in the world. Oh, you got to believe it. I'm not sorry for you if you want to cry all night because God already told you no matter what the devil throws at your senses, you've got power to overcome if you just believe God. Oh, I feel him here. Oh, I've got a little work to do tonight. How much time is it? It's important to understand this because the phenomenology of power says, where does the power of being become manifest? And how can it be measured? One of my favorites, Paul Tillich says, the power of being becomes manifest only in the process in which it is actualized its power, unquote. There's got to be a circumstance where God shows how powerful he is. And he sets up circumstances so he can manifest how powerful he is the thing you're going through right now is just a circumstance set up by God I wish I could talk to you God isn't looking for an opponent who is so weak that you won't praise him when you get the victory God's looking for an opponent that's been handling things pretty much for a long time in your life just to walk up and show you I don't care how bad he is greater is already in you I just need a chance to show that I can whip any enemy in your face and all you gotta do is believe me and it's already done mm, I feel it here you understand this that power then is real only in actualization it has to come into an encounter with other bearers of power because power does not operate in a vacuum the thing with the child of god is we have allowed the marketing of the church to become another concept of god here is a disappointing thing is one i have a concept of god and my concept of god 
God can become a whole nother person. How might I put this? All right, so many of us in here who aren't married have a concept of marriage. It's easy to have a concept because the older you get, the more your concept becomes fixed. I want my marriage to be this way and, and this is how it must be. Now that concept can become a script and you can script the way your marriage should be until if it's any other way than it, that that you thought it should be, you are awfully unhappy. Now here's the problem. The concept of your marriage is good. But when you're not married to someone who can fulfill the concept, then you are frustrated because you have given up the reality of who you're with for the concept of who you want to be with. I hope you followed what I said. Uh -huh. now, 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 right in church, we have a problem because the concept of God and the circumstance may not be one and the same my concept of God and the Bible God don't have to be the same my concept is if I walk with God I should have no opposition God's concept is if you walk with me let's celebrate opposition because I am not a God who needs easy sailing to get you to where you need to go but I and weather the storm I can overcome the obstacle and prove to you that greater is he that's in you than he that's in the world I feel a breakthrough coming here tonight when I understand this I understand now that Jesus takes the concept further and what he shows us in this text is that power is the ability to cause or to prevent change. If that is so, then power has two dimensions. One is power as potentiality or latent power. And this is power that has not been developed yet. You have power residing in you that has not been developed yet. Because it hasn't been developed does not mean it's not there. It just hasn't been developed yet. Now this power has the ability to cause a change at some future time. It doesn't have to change it now because it is not now for it to change. It is power that has power to change or to cause change at a future time. Now this power we call possibility. And this word comes directly from the Latin word posse, which means to be able. I have the power, but there is no need for this power to evidence itself now. But this power will evidence itself, so the power becomes a possibility. Anytime I believe God, I don't only believe him for now, but I believe him for yesterday, and I believe him for tomorrow. Folks have judged you because they've looked at your circumstance, and they notice you don't have certain things. And they notice you've been through certain things. You want to say to them, my walk with God implies that soon those things will come to me. But I've got news for you. You survived when the things weren't there. Which means that there was power in your past to keep you to your present. And there has to be power to keep you until the possibilities become a reality. God isn't only with you then, he was with you when. I feel God in this place. Can I take it further? Now watch the other dimension. 
dimension of power is power as an actuality and this is defined as reality so the state of being actual so what I've got when I come to God is power in two dimensions I've got the actual reality and I've got the possibility it's either actuality or possibility it's either reality or possibility when I walk with God I walk in the power of actuality because Satan would destroy me today if he could can I show you something in the text Jesus says how long has this been going on and the man says since he was a child oh, now which means Satan's been after him a long time hasn't he the man said yes but now you missed the point if he's been after him since he was a child and he hasn't wiped him out yet somebody must have been protecting him oh I wish I could get you to understand oh, you've been going through a long time you've been fighting demons a long time you've been struggling with stuff a long time but you're still here you're still fighting that means somebody's been with you a long time to get you to where you are today and if you can believe he brought you through hell then you can believe he'll lay you in heaven the blessing is about to take place I feel God in this house oh God can you stay with me a moment notice what Jesus does he refers to both aspects implicitly and explicitly when he makes this statement the thief cometh not but for to steal to kill and to destroy I come that they might have life and have it more abundantly actuality wherever you are now that's reality and you're quick to say how can I believe in the middle of what I'm going through the answer to that is you ought to believe because if somebody is keeping you in the midst of what you're going through then he's setting you up for possibility based on my actuality I have a possibility oh I wish I could talk to you one of the things I say to saints is never say I don't have something you always include yet if somebody says well are you healed well actually I'm not healed but healing is a possibility so I'm not healed actually yet possible have you got the job I don't have the job yet I don't have it in reality but the job is still a possibility oh God oh, I feel it in here uh, do you have the house oh, I don't have it yet but as sure as I'm living in reality I've got to learn how to live in impossibility uh, I hope you're still with me the thief wants to destroy you now but I've come that you might have possibilities so I've got power in two dimensions reality and possibility so now if the destroyer has not defeated you yet then you ought to have a reality check I'm still here I'm still alive I'm still fighting and the Lord is keeping me together not to torture me but to deliver me he's keeping me alive through my present situation to take me on to my next level the devil can't stop him from killing me because he can't kill me and neither can he stop me I'm alive today was alive yesterday and will be alive tomorrow and I'll be more blessed tomorrow than I am today for my possibilities are greater than my 
my realities. I feel like shouting in here. I feel a little churchy tonight. We might as well have some church. Touch your neighbor, say not anything, but all things. The power then is actuality in this dimension. I came that you might have life and have it more abundantly. So power then is possibility. Fighting viscaciously to maintain your power of reality, you fail to process power of possibility. And that's why the writer cried, the man cried. He said, Lord, help my unbelief because I believed you enough to come out here. But I need to believe you more to go further. I came, the Lord said, not just to preserve a life already possessed, but to impart a life not yet known. And that's how God operates in all of us. He gives me vision and vision states possibility and he shows me that the vision does not come from my circumstance but the vision comes from my God he gives me vision in the middle of hard times because it's when times are hard that he gives vision as strength if I can get a vision of what God is going to do I'm going through right now. It is in vision that he secures my expectation. And when my expectation is high, I don't capitulate for my situation because my situation is a waiting place for my expectation. My reality is the platform for my possibility. So no matter how I live today I'm living greater in my vision because I'm waiting for the Lord to transform me from the reality of my today into the possibility of my tomorrow do you have that in your hand so now we are in the text and the father has a vision of hope he's got a son who is powerless and a devil who's in control He's got some church folk who don't have the power to release him. And the people are looking on. One of the problems with the church is when we don't believe, we become a spectacle. Because the devil challenges the church on every side. That Satan's business is to challenge whatever you believe. Whenever you claim God will give you strength, the devil's going to rise against you. Whenever God has laid his hands on you and targeted you for power and victory, the devil's coming after you. Because not only does Satan target you, but God targets you. And when the devil knows you've been targeted to be blessed, he comes at you with everything he's got. So here now the people are looking on because they're skeptics from beginning. And Jesus on the other hand has unlimited resources waiting to be released by faith. Now I want you to see the psychological powers that come on this man. I've done everything I thought to do and I still can't get through. I've waited years for the move of God and nothing has come to pass. Sometimes that diminishes us instead of strengthens us because the longer I wait for something is the greater trial my faith has. The thing that is hard is I have to wait but I don't like waiting but you have to wait because when you wait it tests the quality of your faith. Faith is not tested by how quickly it comes to pass. Faith is tested by how long you can wait believing God in spite of how long it takes because of the longer I wait the stronger he makes me 
because he builds my patience to wait on his promise and when he makes me a promise I can't do anything but wait how are you going to wait are you going to wait sad and mad or are you going to wait in praise his power when you have to wait because what he wants to do is cause the wait to disconnect your faith in God can I talk about the devil for a minute he can't get in your spirit but he can mess with your circumstance and cause you to disconnect because he'll make things look like God is not with you and then here comes the spectators one of the worst things to have in church are spectating saints I feel the Holy Ghost here folk who won't say yes and they won't say no they just stand there watching checking you out to see how you're going to handle it oh, I feel like preaching here tonight but you've got to understand this when the psychological pain is on you and Satan is messing with your mind you've got to believe God in spite of what you see I'm holding on to my vision in spite of what I see I see my son healed I see my son delivered and no matter how rough it's going to be I'm believing to this point can I take it to the next level when you understand Jesus he moves independent of circumstance and when he moves independent of circumstance it makes us feel as if he is not involved but he is waiting for his time your time is about to happen but you got to wait for your time you can't hasten your time you've got to wait till the appointed time while he is waiting Jesus is coming so every day he's waiting he's getting closer to his deliverance but while he is waiting the devil is causing him to shake have you read in the scriptures that a double-minded man is unstable in all his ways the context is that suffering causes us to shake in our attitudes towards God so what God does is he allows the devil to shake us while we wait to build our patience and to strengthen our faith so when the devil is shaking and I am waiting I have come to realize it's not my circumstance but it's my faith in God and so Jesus wants to know who is the authority in this place because my power that was possible is now becoming actual I'm getting ready to show you who I am and what I can do touch your neighbor said tell the devil things are getting ready to change because the power of God that has been laying dormant is about to come alive in my life can I preach this thing here I don't care who disappointed you Jesus is getting ready to deliver you and this is the power of God and so now the Lord moves from a place of ecstatic joy down to the reality of his disciples and he's saying to the church folk you've got too many folk on the outside that believe when you won't believe it's time for those of us on the inside to break our religious bond become spiritual in our attitudes and declare this is our year this is the time for God to move I feel like preaching right about now when you understand this you 
you can see that on the one side he is frustrated because Jesus has been in the church but we haven't allowed him in us because our faith they will definitely show the world that if we believe you can believe but when folk have to believe when we don't believe it shows that God will work outside of us when we will not believe him like we should if anybody ought to have their yokes broken we ought to have ours broken because we've been close enough to Jesus for too many years to walk out of here without any strength I want you to see how clearly this thing is when the Lord says now I've got energy in action so I want to know one thing how long has the devil been messing with him can I talk to you today touch your neighbor say how long has it been I feel like shouting because the issue is how long has it been the longer it's been the less your faith has become but the Lord says don't worry about yesterday because if you really want to know the truth I brought you through yesterday in order to set you up for today I feel something happening right about now if you notice what he's saying now is the able one is here forget the church folk who disappointed you because sometimes you got to go by church folk in order to get your miracle sometimes you gotta go by folk that talk about you in order to get what God has for you sometimes you gotta ignore folk that feel you can't make it and step up to the power of God and say Lord I've been confused but I believe right now that something's going to happen can I preach this thing like I want if you know what happens here the Lord begins to speak to the man because God's got to bypass folk in order to talk to you directly sometimes he's got to get by folk meet you in your prayer closet look you dead in the face and tell you the only reason the devil has wiped you out is because I
say I'm all things kind of a believer. I believe God is going to fix everything this year. I got the preacher singing here. I got the preacher tonight. Touch your neighbor, say neighbor. I don't need just anything. I need all things. No lack on no side. When God gets done, everything is going to be fixed. Your heart, your house, your church, your job. These are all things. I feel it in here. Touch somebody real quick. Say, don't insult God. He'll give you more than a man.
in this house. Jesus said, if you can. If you can. When the Lord said, I'm ready to do all things. I'm not sorry for you. You can't get no pity from here. Because you can have all things. I ain't going to cry for you. Because you can have all things. He said, if you can do anything. And Jesus said, if you can. All things. You're asking for anything. With the same effort you could have gotten all things.